Hey there folks, Casual Gamer here, and today we're going to do something a little different. Uh, I am very, very excited about the new map coming out. They just released the new trailer. Uh, the, the, the reserve that we're going to be getting <clears throat> is called Mississippi Acres Preserve. And, you know, they, they released the trailer for it this morning. And to be honest with you, before, uh, before you know, before all of the hype started with for the new map, you know, I fell squarely into the let's get a second African reserve map. Uh, you know, that that's where my interests were before this. But I gotta tell you, I am so glad that you know, expansive worlds was a little more creative and they thought outside of the box and you know I think that there were a lot of people asking for a second African map and they decided to go in a different direction and, I, and I'm glad they did because you know this map has the potential to offer something to call of the wild that you know we just don't have you know we this is the first bayou slash river style map that they've ever introduced uh, and it's got, you know, it's got alligators and more, you know, as you're going to see. So I'm going to go ahead and play the, play the trailer, and then we'll talk a little bit about it afterwards. Peggy 16. Where I'm from, history is impossible to escape. It's found where a shack once hosted a blues guitar prodigy in loamy cotton fields. Another whitetail map? It's in the remnants of industry and the great winding river itself. Life here has taught us resilience, but now our community is overwhelmed and we need your help. Help us prepare the next generation. Show them what a true hunter's made of. Why not cut your teeth stalking gray foxes in the pine forest? Gray foxes or try okay. flushing a flock of bob well. white quail out of the grasslands of the low country. We got a raccoon problem raccoon, requires some baby. firepower. Or if you're in the mood for something a little more old school, try prehistoric. Our state alligator. reptile is the indomitable American alligator. Welcome to the place where I'm from. Welcome to the home of the blues and the soul of the Deep South. Mississippi Acres Preserve. I go down to the river. I used to call home. December 7th, 2020. So there it is. There it is, folks, the new map. And, you know, this this map has, in my opinion, the potential to offer something so different to us, you know, in Call of the Wild. The raccoons have the potential to be an entirely different mechanic. I'm not sure how that'll be handled, but raccoon behaviors are different from most other, most other uh, animals. The hunting would be different. Alligators, there's, there's definitely going to be a new mechanic included there. Uh, quail, I don't know if they're going to model those after pheasants. I'm assuming that those that, that hunting those in, in a lot of ways will be similar to pheasants, but quail are a lot smaller, a lot more agile. So, you know, I think that that's going to be different. And, you know, I'm hoping that there's going to be other, you know, maybe another new species of ducks or, or something like that but normally when a new map comes out for Call of the Wild I've only been playing for about a year you know I didn't get Te Awa Roa right away you know when that came out and I didn't get uh, the the Arroyo map right away uh, but this one uh, you know <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to click click by fast enough so I'm real excited about this. I think that it, it has the potential, you know. I think a, a lot of us are still hoping that they'll 
introduced something to do with boats, but so far they haven't, you know, admitted that if that if that is a part of the package. Uh, ho but hopefully it will be. You know, I think that a lot of people want boats, me included. But you know, the new species, I like the new species that they're that they're showing, and uh, and I like the environment. You know, the the whole. Uh, river biome thing is is something I'm definitely into so with that being said I'm gonna leave it at that keep the video short and uh, I thank you for watching and I will see you next time